Actually, Mr Speaker, we're not sure what they believe in right now. No. Nobody knows anymore. No. Apparently, apparently, Mr Speaker, they have a new leader. But nobody knows what he thinks. He can't land on a position, Mr Speaker. He hasn't been seen to offer an opinion, Mr Speaker. He's wandering around in an aimless daze, Mr Speaker. Dreamy Dave, they call him. No thoughts of his own. A backstory with no front story, Mr Speaker. That's what they're saying about uh, the new leader of the Labour Party being desperately spun by his own staff as being a deliberate blank page. A deliberate blank page, Mr Speaker. Ah, tricky plan. As they search around for something for him to say, and they've come up with something, Mr Speaker, I saw it in, a, I saw it in an article last weekend, you don't wear your guns on the outside, Mr Speaker. That's the news from the Leader of the Opposition. But he's only one of their grand strategists, Mr Speaker. They have other strategists. They have David Parker, or Denying Dave, who actually, Mr Speaker, is desperately trying to pretend that the GFC and the Canterbury earthquakes didn't happen, wanders down the House most days and says, why is the government not pumping up credit the way we did back in 2008 when I went trumping with Auntie Helen and we do all those things, Mr Speaker? Well, that uh, is time has passed and desperate uh, Denying Dave uh, has, has missed his chance. He's got nothing of relevance to say in 2012. And then there is Dark Dave. Then there is desperate Dark Dave, the K Rudd of the New Zealand Labour Party, <laughs> sitting there on the opposition benches, desperate to have another go, Mr Speaker. And actually, Mr Speaker, he exhibits the only signs of Labour's growth agenda, Mr Speaker. It is true to say that David Cunliffe is the only member of the opposition that's showing any signs of a growth agenda, and that's his lovely new beard, Mr Speaker. It's a little theatrical, not a lot of substance, it also lacks... Point of order, Chris Hipkins. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Order. Mr Speaker, order. The Speaker is the sole uh, determinant of time, and I have the time. The member has 21 seconds remaining. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, I had so much more to say about this for Dave, Mr Speaker, and his lovely facial hair. All I can say is I hope he hangs on to it, because it's the only sign of an economic growth agenda that this opposition has, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, the reality is you can't yell for jobs, 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 but then oppose every means by which growth can be achieved in the New Zealand economy. 